Wildcats. Today is Friday, May 14th, and this is your WLHW News. Welcome back to our 12th episode of WLHW on YouTube. Let's get it kicked off today with our quick quarantine cooking with Grace. Grace, take it away. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to Quick Quarantine Cooking. Today we'll be making a quick and easy lunch of grilled cheese and apples. What you'll need for this recipe is two pieces of bread, four pieces of your favorite cheese. I'm using white sharp cheddar butter or mayonnaise, an apple, and for tools you will need a spatula, a butter knife, and a pan. So on to our first. First we're going to be buttering the bread. So you're going to open your butter, and where you put the butter will be the outside of your sandwich. So just butter a nice and even coat of butter the whole way. Then do this to both pieces of bread or however many grilled cheese sandwiches you're making. Now that we're over at our stove, we're going to turn on our burner and let our pan get hot. Once your pan is hot, place your first piece of bread down, all of your cheese, And then your second piece of bread. And remember, the butter is face up. Now, you're going to wait until your sandwich gets crispy on the bottom. And then flip it, wait for it to get crispy, and pull it off. Last, we're going to cut our app. You can either leave it whole or cut it. So you're just gonna go straight down, turn, go straight down, try to get the sides until all you have left is the core. So then you're just going to cut into slices and you're going to do this with the rest of your apple pieces. Our grilled cheese and apple quick quick and easy lunch. Tune in on Monday's show for quick quarantine for your next quick quarantine cooking. Now back over to Mr. Earl. Now that our bellies are nice and full of some delicious grilled cheese and apples, let's sit back and enjoy Jokes with Charlie. with Charlie. I got a Disney joke for you guys this week. Alright, what do you call a group of boring spotted dogs? 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, funny. See you guys on Friday. <laughs> it's a dog eat dog world out there guys. Now we've been super enjoying the nice weather uh, this week. Let's check in with Grace to see what our weekend weather forecast has in store for us. Grace? Hey Wildcats, I'm here with your weekend weather report. Today looks fantastic with a high of 86 and a low of 62 and partly cloudy sky. Tomorrow looks even better with a high of 86, low of 64 and partly sunny skies all day. Sunday doesn't look too great with a high of 87, a low of 65 and possible thunderstorms all day. Well, that's all I've got for you, Wildcats. Tune in on Monday for your weekly weather report. Now, back over to Mr. Draw. Thank you for that weather update. Guys, we have Giselle and Grace here to expand our brains with some fun facts and a couple riddles. Enjoy. Hey, Wildcats, and happy Friday. Today's riddle is, what is easy to get into, but hard to get out of? If you think you know, email Mr. Groff at agroff at k12almo.org. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to Fun Friday Trivia. Last week's question, what was the largest organ in your body? The answer is your skin. 
Today's Fun Friday trivia question is, what is the record for the most amount of hot dogs eaten in one sitting? If you think you know, email Mr. Groff at agroff at k12almorald.org. That's all I've got for you, Wildcats. Tune in next Friday for your last and final Fun Friday trivia. Hey, Wildcats. Today's fun fact is, did you know honeybees recognize human faces? That's neat. Thank you. Now, guys, a lot of you have been doing some awesome work in our PE classes, uh, even though it's in a virtual setting, right? Some of you have created some amazing content. Today, we have some of that content and then some created by WLHW crew members. Let's get active and get stronger. Let's see what we have. position, you're going to clasp your hands together but put them behind your back. Do a squat position but lift one leg up and put that leg's ankle on your knee. This tightens your core muscles so you can have balance and it stretches out your shoulders. So that you don't fall over, look straight and keep your back straight. And keep this position for about 10 seconds. my yoga tutorial of how to do my yoga pose. Bye! Hey well Wildcats, I'm going to give you your daily exercise. Today we're going to be doing more of a warm up. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do 10 jumping jacks. I'm just going to do three. So 10 jumping jacks. Alright, then you're going to do fast feet. Fast feet are really just like really fast sprint but all on your feet. So you're just going to do that for 10 seconds. Then you're going to move down to the floor and do mountain climbers, okay? So you're gonna do 10 mountain climbers. Then you're gonna repeat this warm up three times. Now that's all I have for you today, Wildcats. Back here with Mr. Roth. Wow, I definitely learned something about physical fitness today. And maybe you, just like myself, are not so physically inclined to do stuff. There are other great ways to support our own me mental and physical health that aren't so physical. Let's check out Grace's Activity for the Weekend. Hey Wildcats, welcome back to Activity of the Weekend. This weekend, your activity is to be creative. Draw, paint, build, or sketch something. And then if you want to really showcase it, send it to Mr. Groff at agroff at k12almod.org and we can showcase it right here on the ship. That's all I've got for you, Wildcats. Tune in on Monday's show for your next activity of the week. Back over to Mr. Groff. Grace, I think that's an awesome idea for an activity this weekend. I know personally, I've been working on animation skills and developing all kinds of crazy characters to do different things. Maybe you like drawing, maybe you paint, Maybe you have another hobby that you would like to put on our show. You just email me and we'll set it up. Guys, that's all I have for you. And you know what? In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.